Alright, so I'm going to continue this uh, video session with showing you guys how to import files into BCM. Um, if you looked at my other video, I had already created a sample database with a sample contact and uh, a sample account. Uh, you'll see here that this uh, contact, uh, Ilan Patel, is a member, um, is the owner of Danger Studio. So when I click on Danger Studio, you'll see here that it comes up as the, the job title, the owner of um, of Danger Studio. So the the relationship between the account and the contact. And the question is, how do we preserve that when we import things into uh, BCM? So I figured why not have a, a quick video example to show you. So I have here two files. I have contacts and I have accounts. So let me open up contacts. And I, I did the very bare minimum. Um, I, I put in the contacts name. And here, let me add another column called job title. And I'm just going to put in the word owner. Um, so I have in here a bunch of account names. I have McDonald's, KFC, Burger King, White Castle, Papa John's. These are all uh, companies uh, that these gentlemen are the owner of. Ronald McDonald owns uh, McDonald's. So we have the full name column, we have the job title, and we have the account name. Um, obviously, you'll be making additional uh, columns in here with data that you'll be making custom data uh, that you'll, you'll want to import. Um, and all this will be done in Excel. It's actually very easy to do. Uh, so I just made this. It took me literally two seconds to make. Uh, here, let me save it. And let me show you what my other account type looks like, my other uh, uh, my other file. So I have another file here. This is going to be for my accounts import, right? It just has the names of my accounts, nothing more. I didn't put any more data in here. I just want it to be nice and, and quick and make it like a breezy tutorial. Um, so we have our accounts. We have McDonald's as an account. And we want to make sure that when we link Ronald McDonald, we want to have a relationship between Ronald and McDonald's. That that Ronald is uh, going to be linked to McDonald's without me having to do manual work. Suppose I have thousands and thousands of contacts that I'm importing or hundreds. Um, okay, so I think we're ready to go. Uh, we have our two files. We have our um, contacts file or whatever custom record type you have. You can call it anything, owners, business managers, uh, customers, leads, etc. In this case, I have here a contacts file. I'm going to close it up and uh, here, save it. Okay. And I have my accounts file. This is going to be what I'll be linking the contacts to, these particular accounts. So let me close this up and save it. Okay. Um, all right. So now I'm Business Contact Manager. And for those of you watching this video first and not my other video, I'll be using uh, BCM on Outlook 2013. Um, <coughs> so it's the 2013 version, uh, quote unquote, a business contact manager, but it's the same exact thing as the 2010, uh, not that far away from 2007 either. So it's the same process. So let's begin. I'm going to click on the file tab on the top right corner. Uh, I'm going to click on the business contact manager button on the bottom. Uh, I'm going to click on import and export, the very first button on top, and I'm going to choose to import from a file. So the very first thing I want to choose to import is my accounts. So when I click on browse, I'm going to select a file I want to import from. Uh, it's going to be the accounts file. So I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to go next. Uh, I'm going to choose to import duplicate records as new records. Uh, something I always do, uh, like having uh, multiple records, I guess. Well, this is a clean database, so it's fine. And it's going to ask me, where would you like to uh, import accounts to? And the record type is going to be to accounts. And it already automatically got mapped. You'll see here that account name is now mapped to account name. So I'm going to click on import, and it's going to push the data inside BCM. And you'll see here under accounts, now I have uh, Burger King, KFC, McDonald's, Papa John's, and White Castle. Same accounts that were in this Excel file. Now I want to go and make a customers or contacts, and I want to add additional contacts in here and have them link their respective contacts to these uh, particular companies. So when I import and I have number one, Ronald McDonald, I want to be able to open up McDonald's and I want to be able to see that Ronald McDonald is related to this account. Um, so to do that, I'm going to click on file. I want to go through the same process, business contact manager. I'm going to click on import and export. I'm going to choose to import from file. Uh, I'm going to click on browse and I'm going to select the, my source file, which is contacts. I'm going to click on next. Um, again, allow duplicates. And right away, it knows exactly the business record type that I want to import this to is going to be business contacts. So I'm going to choose to map fields, uh, and I'm going to clear my map. And I'm going to have here, I'm going to click on auto map now. And you'll see what happened was it automatically tried to map full name to full name, which is great. Uh, and job title to job title. The only thing left now is having account name. Now, account name is going to be um, the accounts that we have uh, 
on their accounts. So we want to make sure that they are linked. So how do we do that? On the very bottom, there's a checkbox. And see what it says. It says, link business contacts to accounts if the company field matches the account name field. That's exactly why I had the account name not only in the accounts portion, but I copied the account names out and I put them in the contacts, field, um, the contacts file as well, this file that we're working with. Um, I'm going to take this account name and I'm going to map it to company, just like this says here on the bottom. I'm going to check this box and I'm going to I'm going to map account name to the company field. So where is the company field? It is right here. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it into company creating that map. You see now how it says here mapped from account name is the company. I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to click on import. So now I just finished adding five new customers to my uh, to my database. Um, You'll see here it added uh, McDonald Ronald, uh, the King, <laughs> Papa John, John Doe, and uh, Whitebeard. And um, when I go to accounts, I can open up KFC, for example, and you'll see that uh, Whitebeard is the owner of KFC. I <laughs> just thought of a ridiculous term to do it, but now you understand what I did pretty much. I, um, I made sure that I retained the relationship, so now when I open up Papa John's, <laughs> Papa John is the owner and I can double click on Papa John and here is his contact item and you see the company name is already in there and it, the linked account already populated with Papa John's. So instead of doing everything manually it's it's good to do it this way to retain relationships to designate it in your source files where you're importing from. Um, just as a note you'll see that in my accounts import file the account name is exactly the column for the company and the contact file as well. So I just copied and pasted. So I went from top to bottom. I started with accounts and I just went on the contacts and pasted that column in there uh, and I adjusted who belongs to who. Now in some cases I can have uh, the king uh, again and I can put the king and have a map to two different companies. And the king can be a member of uh, Ronald McDonald and it can be uh, I mean of uh, McDonald's or it can be a member of KFC all at the same time. So you could have multiple people. <coughs> So the, they have the king here as my primary account name. So it's all in there. So that's really what I wanted to show you guys in this example. I wanted to show you how um, how to import uh, things into BCM and, and uh, retain the relationships for them. Um, see, all I'm doing right now is I'm just designating who the primary contact for the account is. They're all in there. Uh, you'll see here that in Burger King, it's the king, and they're also my customers over here. So that's what this video is about. It's just showing you the bare basic of importing. Um, again, you can always do export. You can export stuff out too. Uh, business Contact Manager, you can click on Import and Export. You can choose Export to a File. And you have three types of exports here. You can export a CSV out, very similar to what we inputted in with all your stuff, uh, your contacts and your accounts. You can export out only your Business Contact Manager customization. This is very good for backing up. Uh, and of course, there is export business contact manager data and customization. I recommend doing this once a week uh, or so just to have a backup of everything because if something crashes, you can restore your company or all your data backup in a matter of uh, a, a moment. Uh, you can turn any computer into your database. That's the beautiful part about this, something I really like about BCM. Uh, and that's it. So that's, that's my tutorial for um, importing uh, into BCM. Thank you for watching. Again, if you like my videos, please watch the rest of them. I have a lot of cool stuff going, a lot of stuff on BCM, Excel, um, you know, showing you a lot of neat things. Uh, and subscribe to my channel, and you're welcome to go on my website, DangerStudio.com, where I have um, my blog up with all these videos as well. So thank you for watching, uh, and have a good day, guys. Bye.